Hi, I'm Galen and I'm working on Kurtosis. Kurtosis is a tool for packaging and running entire backend architectures where it's easy to modify your system without needing to know the low level details for spinning up, configuring, or tying together each service in the environment. The first developers who used Kurtosis were test engineers and they were using Kurtosis to spin up test environments that contain multiple distinct backend components where they didn't necessarily want to deal with the low level details of reconfiguring everything across different test scenarios. And since then, our users have taken Kurtosis and they've asked us to support a larger array of workflows, not just testing, but also local development and things like preview or staging environments, where in each of these cases, you might need a slightly different setup of each service in the environment to achieve the goals, whether it's a developer doing prototyping work or whether you're showing a particular feature flag or set of things to a user, a customer, or another development team. Kurtosis can, can run on your laptop. Uh, it can also run inside of a CI box or it can run over Kubernetes and a remote Kubernetes cluster. Um, and ultimately what we have is we have a way for developers to get the environments that they need for their backends, where they need them, the laptop, CI box, or in the cloud, with one-liners that just work. So the experience is the same and you have one-liners that just get you these environments. And I'll show you what it looks like. So I can run a backend in Kurtosis by pointing to a GitHub locator. You can see the GitHub locator here for the, it's called the basic service package. And in Kurtosis, a package is an environment definition that contains the logic for how to spin up all the services of a particular backend architecture. So I'm gonna run this and show you what it looks like. You'll see Kurtosis is spinning out what it's doing. And at the end of the day, I have three services. Service A, which is a simple service that doesn't have any dependencies. Service B, which is a service that is dependent only on service A. And you can see that service B actually has an IP address and a port that it can use to communicate with service A in its configuration file here. Service C is a little more complicated. It depends on service A and service B. I'll show you that here, where you can see that service C does indeed have an IP address and a port for both service A and service B inside of this network. So it's all running and accessible on my laptop. Now this feels a lot like Docker Compose. It's just a couple of differences here. One is I didn't have to clone any GitHub repos. I was able to access everything just via GitHub locator. Uh, two, I didn't have to worry about having the right files uh, in the right spot locally in my laptop for the things like bind mounts to work. The file management is all handled by Kurtosis under the hood. And three, these local port mappings here are automatically generated to avoid conflicts. So I'm never gonna have a local port conflict here. So I always have uh, access to my services right out of the box with local port mappings. And the things that we've built around around what you get out of Docker, uh, they, what they do is they give portability at the level of the entire environment rather than portability only at the level of each uh, containerized service, which gives us experience of this kind of thing just working. Now, let's say I wanna do a little something a little bit different. Maybe I'm doing a development or a testing workflow and I wanna see how things work uh, for high availability maybe. So I have four different, what I want is four different instances of each service to see how it works when I have multiple instances. With Kurtosis, every package can take in a JSON and a, it can be a JSON or a YAML, but it's, it's a series of arguments that get passed into the package in order to allow me, the end user, to make some high level modifications to the environment. Now the person who defined this JSON schema is the author of the package. So the person who wrote this package might be an open source uh, repository maintainer. It might be my platform engineering team or it might be another engineer on my own team. Now for me to use this, all I have to know is what does the JSON schema look like? So I'm gonna pass in this JSON where I ask Kurtosis to give me four instances of each of these services. And again, Kurtosis is gonna spit out what it's doing as it's doing it. And at the end of the day, you're gonna be able to see that I do have four instances of each service. I have four service A, four service B, four service C. All the port mappings work just fine. There's no conflicts there. And if I click into service C, you can see that service C, which is dependent on service A and service B, does indeed have connections to, to each of those services. And you can see the IPs and the ports that were generated for each uh, instance of service A and service B. Now this is great for me because I don't wanna deal with the service discovery. I don't wanna deal with how to configure service C so that it knows where service B and service A are. All that is handled under the hood by Kurtosis, that service discovery work. I just get to work with the JSON. 
Now I've made a little bit of a mess here. I have got a uh, 12 services running on my on my computer here, uh, a bunch of files, configuration files that were created and put in their different spots. I want to clean all that up, so I'm going to use this this command ketosis enclave remove, and I'm going to remove this enclave. This enclave is called restless gorge. Now, what is an enclave? An enclave is a walled garden that contains an environment where the package runs in. So an enclave is a mechanism of resource management that Kurtosis uses to keep things clean for you. So when I call this remove, everything gets uh, gets destroyed and you know Kurtosis handled the, the garbage collection, so to speak, of that environment for me. Great. Now let's imagine instead of being you know a developer, uh, you know, developing or doing a testing use case. Maybe I want to deploy this for a preview or a demo environment, so I'm going to make some application layer changes. So I'm going to pass in this JSON where I turn on a feature flag called party mode. So if I pass in, you know, party mode is true as part of this JSON to this package, then you know, Tosis again is going to show me what it's doing as it does it, and I'll get three services at the end of the day where each service is each service is partying. So you can see service A is partying and service A is partying because now it has a configuration file that has told it to party. You can see party mode is true for its configuration file. Service B is also partying, but service B is partying for a different reason. It's partying because it has a command line argument into the server process that told it the party is on. Service C also partying, but service C is partying because an environment variable on the container told it to party. Uh, so there's a different way of getting that feature flag on and service C is also partying. Now, when I emphasize that as an end user, I don't really want to deal with the different ways that each of these services was able to turn on party mode, all those little details. Uh, I just want to deal with a high level JSON input in order to get the environment that I need to get. So you emphasize kind of the, the power of what you can get with these JSON inputs. Uh, Ketosis was able to handle service discovery. It was able to handle setting environment variables in the right containers, uh, the right command line arguments into the right containers, and also uh, setting the right configuration files on disk for the different services that needed configuration files to be rendered. All this is handled by Ketosis. I just have to pass in you know, a high level uh, JSON configuration for the package. Now, everything that I showed you here has been running over Docker on my local machine. I'll show you real quick, uh, you know, top 10 Docker containers I'm running, and it's a bunch of Kurtosis stuff. I have service C, service B, service A. I've got some Kurtosis infrastructure running. But let's say I don't want to run it locally. Maybe I want to you know, scale it out to a larger degree. Uh, maybe I want to, to share it with other folks. I'm going to change my Kurtosis cluster to a remote Kubernetes cluster and run it there. So. You know, I set the Kubernetes cluster, and then I'm also going to run something called the gateway, which is going to enable me to handle local port mappings to my Kubernetes cluster. And now that I'm in Kubernetes, I can run the exact same command that I showed you before with one of each servers with party mode on, and it's going to feel exactly the same way. So Kurtosis is going to tell me what it's doing as it's doing it. It's going to you know, add each of these services into my Kubernetes cluster, and it's going to handle the port mappings to my local machine as well so that I can click into these services. So you'll see here everything ran successfully, service A, service B, service C, and I can click into service A and I have a nice UI on my local machine, service B and service C. All running not on Docker now but in Kubernetes. And if you, you know, if you don't believe, uh, I can show you the namespace that this uh, this environment's running in, and you can see that you know this, this pod's running here. There's a Kurtosis controller pod, and then there's three services, A, B, and C, running in Kubernetes. So if you like what I showed here, please visit us on GitHub. Our source code is available, and you know Kurtosis is free to, free to use. You can download it from our GitHub. Please visit and give us a star if you liked it. You can also check out some example packages we have on Awesome Kurtosis. Uh, on Awesome Kurtosis, you can see a wide variety of backends that we've built examples for so you can you can start playing around with with what is out there already and if you are motivated from this to write your own package for your use case you can go to our docs and our docs we actually have a 15 minute uh, writing a package quick start where you can get in there and you can start writing your own package and if you have questions comments feedback you can pop into our dis our uh, discussions on github and we monitor this and I'll be answering all of your questions and everything there. And if you want to chat with us, you can go to our Discord with this command, Kurtosis Discord, and that'll pop open our community, and we will be there to support you. 
So thank you for your attention and I hope to see you in our community forums.